In this video I want to show an op amp audio filter with a few sound profiles. It's made with a 741 just like the earlier videos and to make it operate in a linear way so as audio amplifier I connected here two 10k resistors this one and this one so point 3 is set to a fixed voltage and on point 3 we also add the audio signal this trimmer is, uh, make, is made to set the, the input level from the, from the filter so it's not um, a volume control when you want to use a volume control you can for instance take this circuit a 4k7 potentiometer and two uh, 3 microfarad non-polar uh, capacitors, foil capacitors by the way when you want to make this circuit use foil capacitors they have the best properties for this circuit so no ceramic caps in these um, audio filters to make an amplifier frequency dependent is in fact very simple this is a small amplifier now when you want to do that feed the output to the input via a frequency dependent network and this is my frequency dependent network consists of course of a capacitor always a capacitor and this capacitor can be influenced by means of this resistor and this resistor is variable so we can shortcut more or less the uh, capacitor take the inf influence from that capacitor out and that also means that there are substantial effects on the, um, the bandwidth from the filter so this is one part of the audio filter but here you find the other part of the audio filter you can see that here the signal is coupled back and um, so this is the filter part and these two sets of capacitors are also uh, a part of the filter with switch one that has three positions you can set the base sorry uh, no you set here in with switch one the audio presence so the voices are going to the foreground when you connect this one microfarad capacitor and with 330 nanofarad that effect is diminished and when switch one is free uh, the voices are in the background here you set the amount of bass so uh, this gives more or less a warm sound when you connect the 15 microfarad capacitor here via that 1k resistor to the input so this gives the warm sound and this gives the audio present, presence from the singers in the music I tested the whole circuit with music from KT Melua and it was a good test I now have to demonstrate it with uh, copyright free music so uh, that's uh, more or less baby music but um, it gives also some indication about what you can expect from this audio filter this is the way the whole circuit was made this is the op amp this is the output capacitor here these components here are the frequency dependent back coupling circuit and here is also part of the filter the audio filter this filter gives the presence from the sound and this filter here this capacitor gives the bass more adds more bass switch on the music now at first I'm going 
going to connect this capacitor here, the one microfarad capacitor, and that's the capacitor that gives the audio, the voice presence. So the voices come uh, in the foreground now. And when we connect that to this capacitor, the effect is less clear, but uh, also with this capacitor here, the 330 nanofarad capacitor, the voices get uh, more presence. Now we're going to connect the 15 microfarad electrolytic capacitor to show the base from the circuit, the base amplification. Not so clear, but when you use real music you will hear a substantial effect. And now this potentiometer here, it sets the amount of bass also. It's in the back coupling circuit. I turn it now. Now less bass, now more bass. And again when you re uh, use real music you will hear a very substantial effect. So this is an easy circuit to make with a 741 op amp. And 18 volts is the right uh, supply voltage. And these were the final scope views from the music. And you can see that there is not much distortion. See, the sound is good. But when you raise the, the input level you can see that the level goes up very much.